What up dudes, today I'm going to show you how to get your Adobe Premiere Pro running that much quicker. Now I see so many people trying to edit 1080p or 4k and their footage just comes to a grinding halt and their playback window starts freezing. So I'm going to show you my top four tips on how to fix that. So let's get straight into it. So my first tip is actually changing the resolution of your playback monitor. Now to do that you just come over here and you click this and right now it is actually on full we can change that to half the resolution or we can change that to a quarter now what this will do is, is change the playback resolution so hopefully your footage actually ends up being a little bit faster when you try and play it back so tip number two is actually changing how much ram your computer reserves for other applications in other words you are changing how much ram premiere pro can use and pretty much squishing down what other programs can use. So uh, to do that, you go over to here to edit, then you go to preferences, then you come into memory. Now, what will happen when you change this is other programs are going to run really slow. So I make sure I close Premiere and my Adobe uh, applications when I'm not actually using them, but I will change this to five gigabytes. Normally I've got 32 gigs of RAM right there. But uh, you can just change this depending on how much you need. So I normally leave mine on 5 gig. Now tip number three is actually to clear your media cache. Now what this is, is it's like all the old unused files or files that Premiere Pro has built up over the long periods of time you may have used it. So to do this you click edit, then you come down to preferences, then you click on media cache. Now to delete the unused data, you just click this button right here and that will just clear any old files or anything that's slowing down Premiere Pro. So tip number four is actually pre-rendering your video. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that here. So in Premiere Pro, you'll click I on your keyboard and then you'll press O on your keyboard. So I is for in and O is for out. Uh, there is another way you can do it up here. You can click in and then you can highlight where you want it on your timeline and then click out. Now, this is just selecting the in and out point of where you actually want to pre-render the footage. You'll also normally have to do this when you're exporting your videos in Premiere Pro. Now, to actually render the footage, you'll come up here to sequence and then you'll just click render in and out. So this is best when you've added a lot of effects and stuff to your footage. You just come in and then you'll pre-render it and it should play back pretty smooth most of the time. Now the only other ways I know to speed up your computer is to just clean up your computer, get rid of any files that you're not using or move them onto a hard drive like I have here. Uh, and the only other one I know of is to just buy a quicker computer. If these tips aren't helping, you can also use proxies. Uh, to do that, you come up here into File, and when you are starting a new project, this will automatically come up. But proxies are in here. The setting right here is called Ingest Settings, and you'll click Ingest, and you can add proxies. Now what proxies are, it's just like playing a lower quality video or a file that's like less megabytes in the display screen, and then when you actually render out your footage, it'll just render it out as the normal files that you were using. So it's kind of like switching one for the other and then switching it back later. So I hope you guys like this video. I will be getting into proxies a little bit more, so make sure you subscribe if you want to stay tuned for that or if you want to see any more videos like this. Uh, that's pretty much everything that I need to say. Uh, make sure you comment down below anything that I may have missed and I'm out.